And here's a fun story. When the telegraph was first developed, uh, this uh, particularly the, the big challenge was transatlantic communications. Those days, the only way you can get a message across was use a ship. And a ship was easily six or seven day journey. So it's seven days to get some message across. And the idea of a telegraph line running across the ocean, under the ocean, was very attractive. And so the first telegraph lines were laid in the early part of the 19th century. But uh, the way it worked was because uh, the way the capacitance of these lines, you uh, would send up the way you send out, you send this dot, dots and dashes, right? Dot and mm -hmm. dash. You send a dot or a dash. Uh, you might you, have, you normally send it at maybe a thousand volts, a thousand volt dot. It may only last for a few milliseconds. That goes on the line. It starts spreading out because of the capacitance in the line. And by the time it reaches New York, it would become a few minutes long and very, very faint. So the thin line pulse becomes a long, long pulse. So in order to send one sentence, it took you something like uh, uh, probably one hour. Wow. <laughs> but yet it is a huge breakthrough because it is much better than six days. Wow. And, they, they were excited about that one hour sentence. And the very first message came from Queen Victoria to our president. I forget who it was. The first inaugural message. It took an entire day, one paragraph. Now, Oliver Heaviside uh, discovered that there's a way of speeding it up by about exactly what I was talking about, four to five times by using loading coils. And uh, he uh, is well known for that. He is also, uh, there's a very, very great mathematician and enormous genius, Maxwell. Uh, 